And it is time for the Turner Construction Lightning Round. Thank you, Turner Construction, for making this possible. Turner Construction is building up Omaha. Let me tell you, they've got big projects like uh, hundreds of millions of dollars of investment at off at Air Force Base and hundreds of millions of dollars at the Sarpy County Data Center. But that's not all they do, even though they're capable of it. Uh, they're a locally focused contractor. They've got uh, Omaha-based people who grew up in Omaha, from Omaha, love living in Omaha, that are doing projects here. And uh, they can help your business, too, whether you need to construct a new building or if you just need to build out space in an office or a retail center. Turner Construction does all of that. And one of the things before we get into the uh, material here that I'm always very proud of Turner is just how much their people love working there and how committed they are to the community. All right. um, Turner Construction lightning round. Here we go. A few things on the docket. Um, The owner of Javi's Tacos, named Javi, is opening a new concept called Helados Locos, which means crazy ice cream in Spanish. It's going to be in a former Weight Watchers space near 173rd and West Center Road. Yes, I see the irony um, of, of that location. Can't wait to give this it's a like try. putting something back on the tax rolls, like something that a church sells it and all of a sudden it's going to for profit, so they have to pay taxes now. I, guys, I don't speak French, but Le Macaron, Le Macaron, Le Macaron, I don't know how you say it, uh, Le Macaron French Pastries will open its first Nebraska or Iowa location early next year at 1917 South 67th Street in Exarban Village. This Florida-based chain has 60 locations in 23 states. Macaroons are awesome. Buddy. Yeah. Love the those. Yeah. Pictures look great. Pictures look great. Um, Brown's Shoe Fit Company has opened a new store at 7624 Dodge Street. Uh, they have been around since 1913 and are out of Shenandoah, Iowa. Um, a lot of people were very upset this week to find out that Nettie's Fine Mexican Food is not coming back. Me included. I know it was it was a good place. It was a very popular place, and they tried and and you know they had like a, I think they had some Facebook fundraisers, and there was all I this think that's talk. For the employees, <clears throat> but uh, it's just it just apparently not going to work out. It burned down last year on Christmas Eve. Ro- Railroad Avenue, right? Total right. loss. Yeah, seventy one ten Railroad Avenue. So that's a shame. That's too bad. The good news is there's about forty five other Mexican restaurants that have opened in the last two years. We do have a lot of restaurants <laughs> of Mexican restaurants like that have opened lately. Boy, man. Circo Omaha, guys, we got to give this a try. Circo Omaha has opened at 192nd and Q in a former Julio's. This is a chef driven contemporary cuisine. Uh, just opened Wednesday, I believe. So we got to get over there and give that a try. Looks really good. I Italian checked out the menu. Or? It, it says contemporary American, but the menu has a little bit of an Italian feel to me. And, and Circo kind of makes you think Italian, perhaps. But uh, we'll see. This is an interesting business. Ellie Mental Health has opened. It's a counseling center, but it's a chain. It's a franchised chain out of uh, Minnesota. So Ellie Mental Health has opened at 3803 North 153rd Street. Um, Let's see. What else do we have here? Uh, Power Life Yoga. That's good for you, Trenton. Yeah. That has opened a store at Village Point Shopping Center. Oh, it's, It's almost open. It's not quite open yet. Almost open. So uh, it's getting there. And then finally, Chirpy's Play Cafe. Chirpy, C-H-I-R-P-Y, Chirpy's Play Cafe um, is holding a ribbon cutting ceremony this coming Tuesday in Papillion. This business is a coffee shop for the parents and an indoor play space for the children. Interesting. So, That's unique. Yeah. I like that. I like that. You can go to the, you can go have your coffee and uh, hope the kids don't get hurt playing with other There's kids. There's probably a sign. Uh, if you leave, please take your kids with yeah. you. <laughs> Do not leave your children. <laughs> well, maybe that maybe they have an option. Maybe there's like a, a, a like a, an upsell for that. Um, we don't know. We don't know. And congratulations to the Simon family of Omaha Steaks. Uh, big announcement over there. Yeah, uh, Todd Simon, who had been the CEO, is going to stay in the chairman role, but uh, they have uh, uh, another CEO taking uh, taking his spot. First time outside of the family, fifth generation, and uh, McCarthy Capital has invested in the company, and and I grew up around the Simon family, and they do a ton for Omaha, uh, philanthropically and job-wise, and uh, Omaha Steaks is definitely... A not only an Omaha original, but it's it's a um, it's an amazing story 
And uh, so thanks for them and congratulations bringing on a partner and and we wish them another uh, five generations. Oh, one other thing I wanted to mention too, Alaska Airlines this week celebrated 10 years of service at Omaha Epley. Um, 10 years goes by rather quick. Yeah. If you like this video, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And remember, Grow Omaha is not just media. This is a mission. We are trying to build up Omaha and make it an even better place. We can only do that with your help. Share this video with your friends, neighbors, and family.